In this unit I want to emphasize a key point. Just before you begin your production, before you actually plan your production, you need to think, what is my production's goal? What is the point? What is this story I'm going to tell? Now, of course, if you watch a movie, you know, it may, la it may last 90 minutes, 120 minutes, two hours. Uh, but in the end, you kind of can summarize the movie, can't you? In a very short sentence. A uh, person who's young, uh, falls in love, uh, gets married, and becomes an astronaut, something like this. So these things are very compactable. You can put them into a small idea. Well, what I think you need to do before you even begin to plan the details of your video is think, what's the goal of your video? Of course, when we watch advertising very often, you may think this advertisement, the goal is to make me buy more of something, make me buy some Coke, for example. In reality, that's not really the goal of that ad. The goal of the ad is to just help you remember the product's name, the brand. Brand recognition, so that when you do decide to buy, you decide to buy the one that you've heard of before. So, what's the point of your video? Can you give me the point? Can you tell me the goal of your video in one sentence? So, for example, if I was to begin to make a video and I needed to do some training, maybe teach new students coming to the university how to do something. Maybe my goal would be teach students in the dorm how to get their lunch from the dorm refrigerator. That's a bit long. So, how to retrieve your lunch from the refrigerator. Dorm, new dorm students, how they eat their lunch. See, I make it shorter and shorter and shorter so I get down to the point. And if I tell someone the point, they can understand, oh, new students need to know how to get their lunch from the refrigerator in the dorm. Got you. Okay, good. Got it. Maybe we can just cut it down to how new students eat their lunch or where new students can keep their lunch, something like this. Work it, work it, work it, get it shorter, shorter, more and more clear. And then I can tell people what it is and as they listen, they say, ha, I got it, I understand that, that makes sense to me. So, to make your goal, think about it, write it down, cut it down, rephrase it, make it shorter and shorter, and then find a friend that is willing to be honest with you and say, this is my sentence, this is my sales pitch, or elevator pitch. You know, they call it an elevator pitch because the idea is you walk into an elevator, and you can see another person and you can tell that person your idea, your pitch, before the elevator stops at the floor someone is getting off. And before it stops, the person you're speaking to says, ah, that's a great idea, I get it, I get it, that's really good. That's called the elevator pitch. You should come up with an elevator pitch for your video. What is it your video is going to do? What's the goal? Once you have that, then you can begin working on your production. Before you have that, you're very likely you're going to waste time on your production. You're going to make a lot of things in your production that are not needed, and that's going to make you frustrated and maybe give up. Let's think of another example. Uh, often, as I've said, students come to me to borrow a video camera because they want to record a visitor. Now, if I was to ask them, what's their pitch? What's your goal? Right? Well, there's what is their answer going to be? Their answer may be something like, I don't know, my professor told me to come here and do it. Well, if that's the goal, then this video is not going to turn out good. And this is why we often see people just set up a video camera, record a visiting lecturer, and uh, no one ever watches the video again. It kind of just disappears in the, in the space somewhere. Nobody knows what happened to it. And we don't want that to happen to our videos. We want our videos to be interesting. Even if it's a recording of someone giving a lecture, can't that be interesting, right? So when I ask you the goal, maybe my student could say something like, oh, we have a professor who's going to present about e-commerce today, and I want to make a video that captures the key point of Professor Smith's e-commerce experience. 
It's a little bit long, but I get the idea. I kind of say, hey, yeah, okay, yeah, Mr. Smith, Professor Smith, he's a good guy. He's done a lot of work in that area, a lot of experience. Want to capture his experience? Got it. Okay, so this setting a goal, making a pitch is a great way to clarify your brain just before you begin the hard work. But you need to get that clear. All right, let's go over to the hardware table. What's the hardware point for today? Well, it's gonna sound very easy. We've talked about the importance of sound, haven't we? Remember all the stuff about microphone getting close? Remember I also said you need to listen, don't you? If you have the microphone, but no one is listening, is the sound coming through to the camera? Then how do you know you got the sound? So you need to have uh, headphones to listen. Now, what I see people always do is say, ah, oh, Professor Wooden, can I use my earbuds, these are something that everybody has, right? Nobody does not have this. Everybody has their earbuds, of course. These are pretty cheapo ones. So can I use these? And look, you can take these earbuds. What is this here? This is a mini jack. You can see it has the two black lines, so it must be stereo, that is left and right sound. And I can take my camera here, and I've got my audio in and audio out, and I can plug this into my audio out, right? And now I could put these in my ear, and I could listen to make sure that the audio coming through is clear. All right, so I'm gonna listen. And no, that's not a good idea. This is really the worst thing you could do besides nothing. I mean, nothing is the worst thing. Nothing is really bad. Nothing is, is horrible because you don't know is there any sound at all. But this, this is not good. This is almost nothing. There's a few reasons why. One of the reasons is when you listen to music or you listen to uh, uh, YouTube or whatever you're listening to on your mobile phone, you can turn that volume up, get higher and higher. But on a camera, it may not have an adjustment that can get that volume high enough for you to hear clearly on these little tiny headphones. Haven't you had that experience where you're sitting down on the bus and you can hear someone's music from their earbuds coming out of their ears and into your ears? You can hear it, right? I mean, it happens to me all the time. It's extremely annoying. Right? Why is that? That's because they've got it so loud. Someday they're gonna be deaf, but Right now, they have it so loud, why? Because they need to turn it up that loud to block the other sound that's coming through because these little earbuds are not good at blocking sound, key point. Sound still gets in, which actually is, is safe if you're riding your bicycle or you're walking somewhere, you can still hear things, but it's not good if you're trying to listen closely, is there a sound? And if that sound is very light, and very low, which it may be, if it's coming from the camera, you're not gonna be able to hear. Or you may think you hear, but actually, I've seen this happen. I'm listening, or someone's listening, and can you hear it? And, oh yeah, yeah, I think I hear it, but actually what they hear is the real person talking. The recording never recorded their voice. They just heard it from the air. So, earbuds, out. If it's the only thing you have, okay. But if it's not the only thing you have, you gotta get better. What's better? Well, the better thing is what we call over-the-ear headphones. Over-the-ear means that they cover your ear, right? They go over your whole ear. So over-the-ear has some kind of padding, and then your ear goes inside here. What does this do? This helps to stop all the outside sound from getting in. So these are good. 
Now this is a normal pair of headphones, and you know what? I bet you or your friend has one like this. This one also has a microphone on it for talking on Skype, for example. And if we grab the line here, we can see at the end of the line, what do we have? We have a USB connector. Ah, well that's gonna be a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Because our camera is not going to have USB. Remember we could use a small handheld camera. Maybe we could use an SLR kind of camera or a digital camera, but these are not gonna have a USB for sound. That's only for your PC uh, computer. So, uh, wow, okay, not a good idea, right? So let me put that away. The over the ear is good, but the USB is not going to work for us. Here's a little solution that is pretty easy. So you can run to the electronics store. Again, if you're in Asia, they're everywhere, they're very cheap. And what you have is over the ear kind of, but I think this is technically not over the ear, it's just on the ear. So it doesn't really cover up the ear because they're more expensive. This is kind of just lays over the ear like this on top. And on the end, I have a jack. And this jack, if you look, take a look at it, can you tell what kind of jack this is? This is a mini jack, it is 1 8 inch. It, you can see it has two black lines, which means it has two signals, stereo. And I can take that now and I can plug that into my camera. Put the sound out. And I would be able to use that. What if my camera uses the quarter inch, one fourth inch? I could do this, okay? There's one little problem I just did though, because this is stereo and this is not stereo, this is mono. So that's a mistake, I need to get an adapter that is stereo if I want to be able to hear both left and right channels of the audio. Now, if I'm using a microphone that's mono, that is the microphone just has one channel, only left or only right, which is usually what microphones have. If you have a microphone like this, it's not gonna be left and right, it's gonna just be one side, left or right, just mono. So in that case, having a jack that's mono can work because you only have one line of sound coming in. And you probably only hear it on one side or your adapter, as in this case, will take mono and send it over both Channels. So one line in and it goes over both my ears. So this is over the ear. Much better. So we're making progress. Lastly, of course, is the more expensive type. And these are over the ear. You can see they're nice big fat. They're gonna, your ear is going to go over it. And at the end, they have a jack, which in this case is a one quarter inch jack. I don't think that's an adapter on there. I think that's actually a quarter inch. Oh no, that's cool. Okay, let me give you a close-up shot of that. That's pretty cool. This is an adapter. It has a one quarter inch. This is professional level stuff. It's really good. You can see two black lines, so that's stereo. And then you can see two black lines, so that's stereo. If our microphone is mono, that's okay. It just means it'll come over one channel. Look at that. This is pretty cool. It like goes on there and it screws on. Hmm, I didn't even know that until I shot this video today. Cool, cool, cool. And here are the headphones and you can see they're padded and your ear goes inside. So this is over the ear, over the ear. So over the ear is obviously the best way to go. If I put these on, I, can, I can't hear anything that's going on outside. I can barely hear my own voice. So this would make monitoring the video very clear and accurate. Alright, so good luck with your headphones and making the most important part of your video, I repeat it over and over again, audio. The sound is the most important part. If your sound sucks, nobody will stick with your video. Sound. Good luck.